Hello, my name is Oleg. I'm a Russian-American. I was so touched and inspired by the death of the two journalists and I missed everything that's happening in Syria. From what I understand, the UN has the power to go in there and do something about it. But two countries vote no on these resolutions. One of the countries is Russia, the other country is China. Being a Russian-American, that's a problem for me because I support the UN collectively going in there and fixing whatever is wrong there because, well, it's, it's, it's a big deal. I, I know very little of it, but when you have people that are dying in a country and you have an organization like the United Nations that is based on setting a, a world standard for, I guess, freedom, I don't know, it just seems that way. It seems like I need to, and as Russia not voting on this resolution, it feels that I need to, at the very, the very least, voice my opinion. So I'm going to be driving towards to the UN, and I'm going to be trying to get in contact with, or at least leave a message behind to the Russian ambassador, diplomat, whatever, to the UN. I, I thought of, you know, that's that. So now we're standing what I believe to be the United Nations. I, I put it into my uh, VZ Navigator. There's a lot happening here. There's a lot of... There's a fire here somewhere. Oh yeah, there's... I see it. We'll film it in a little bit. But what do I want to say? It's a nice day. It's a beautiful day today. And I, uh, I did something interesting. I also brought my... Just in case, I brought my Russian passport, my United States passport. And something came to my mind. Why does it always take people to die? in order for some kind of change. Well, maybe something happens when, maybe I'm not smart enough, maybe I'm not old enough to see once, once you become in this type of a, when you make these types of decisions when you're an, a leader of a country, let's say. I mean, Russia believes that, well, let them deal with it. It's their problem as a country, let them solve it. But, Countries that have a lot, they have a responsibility to the little countries to advance them, to make them a bit better, to make them stronger. You can't just let them... So now I'm inside a building and what I appear to be like a visitor visitor building. I pass by through a security checkpoint. I'm gonna, I see an information desk. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna inquire where I can go because I'm not really sure where I need to go. Overall, it's very nice. I had, prior to this, I always had an idea to come to the UN and do some sort of a, a video tour, a video guided tour with commentary of all the different things that I might see that might be interesting. Uh, but I am in the wrong place. I got the address for the Russian Federation's mission. The mission is the mission. The word mission is used exclusively to. Um, well, the UN has many missions. Each country is a mission within the UN. So I got the address, I'm gonna go visit there. I no, probably I have, I came into the wrong place, but I got the information. Like look at this, this is a gun and at the end it's been it's been bent so the gun doesn't fire and kill anybody. It's a, it's peace. Peace. It's about peace, world peace. And outside obviously you mean you have all these flags that uh, that hang outside of the building complex. You have pretty much I would imagine every single flag of the the country but it might be just the flags of uh, the members of the UN. Basically that's what's going on over there. There's like a, a fire uh, and I'm, I actually accidentally drove, I'm driving it there. But there's a, like a fire happening, it's, it's, it's chaotic. I smell it, it's just... Look at that building, look how tall it is. Whoa! This is pretty much, I think there's a fire here. So. So I found what I believe to be the Russian mission. This is 136th East blah 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 blah. Let's find out exactly. 136 East 67th Street, New York, New York, 10065. And my question that I that I wanted to present in an opinion to somebody there that I would hope would be passed up to possibly, possibly President or Prime Minister Putin Medvedev. I have no idea. The, the whole system is just it's confusing for me. I don't know. I know very little of it. But the question is, okay, let the okay, let the country, you know, of Syria, like for instance, take care of itself. Okay, 
it's not Russia's problem. Okay, now what happens if you have Russian nationals who get killed by the Syrian government? R Russia, Moscow, it's, it's, it's a very high city of, uh, it's, well, it's, you know, top five possibly. I don't know specifically, I, can't, I don't know the specifics to this, but of, 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 of a city where people commit suicide. Send all those people to, to Syria in front of the Syrian soldiers. I know it sounds wrong, but I think most of those people, if they were to be put in that situation, they would reconsider that option in their life. So I want to ask that question I, uh, in the form of opinion, and it may be something that they didn't think about. I don't know. Because then it becomes a problem. Okay, so I spoke to, in Russian, I spoke to the, uh, I guess, the security personnel. He spoke Russian. And he said everybody's out on lunch and he said it's probably unlikely that anybody from the official side is going to be able to hear me out but i told him that I would, okay well you know i'll come back after lunch maybe i'll rethink of a more stronger way to approach this uh, and uh, so i'll just walk around here for a little bit i guess smoke a you know but, but. <sighs> i'm back here again i've been kind of walked around i got myself um, something to eat and, Coca-Cola and it's very nice here, it's very peaceful. I'm just a character among everybody else. But maybe I just Yeah, unfortunately I don't have a super duper argument to solve this problem or to convince anybody or I just wanted to come here and say that Russia should vote and participate in the intervention and it's it, it's time for strong countries to set world standards for everywhere. You know, it's, Syria is just one country, there's many like it. And there's places where it's not even a country, officially. And there's so much injustice and so much wrong happening. And even here, even here in the States, a lot of, a, a lot of bad happens. But it's not, the, it's, it, it shouldn't be, the way I just see it is, I don't know what I don't know how I see it anymore, but I just wanted to do this because I don't know. But I'm gonna try again. Right across the street, there is a police precinct. Police precinct, which is just a police department. Uh, they have many precincts in uh, New York City. Uh, right across the street from the Russia's mission to the UN. Uh, I decided that, well. He, the security personnel told me that no one's going to be there till 4, 4 p.m. And now I'm thinking, you know what, in, in all honesty, this is... They're not going to listen to me. So, I do not give up. So, I went inside the police precinct and I got myself a little piece of paper. So I figure I'm going to write them a letter. And that's maybe I should have done that to be ahead of time because... This is what I end up writing to whoever, whoever it may concern. Russia needs to vote yes on a UN resolution to intervene in Syria. It is about time Russia starts to care and do better. Two journalists died yesterday giving voice to the unheard. One Frenchman and the other I believe to be an American woman. I represent myself, a Russian American. Peace, not war. Establishing a world standard of living by great countries is necessary for the survival of the human race. At some point, the U.S. will abolish the use of nuclear weapons. It will be the first, like usual. It is time for Russia to be first at something useful. The world is a beautiful place, but not a perfect place. We can make it a better place. The decisions you make, the thoughts you have, reflect on your children. We are all brothers and sisters. It does not matter what country you're born in. During the Cold War days, during the USSR days, I know no one cared about you. It is not a reason to avoid helping others. It is just an explanation. And then I signed it. And I'm just going to go in there. Uh, leave it with them. I'm going to leave them with some money. Hopefully that's okay. But so. Actually, it would be kind of funny for me to leave this with money. Because then it's like a bribe. So I went in there, I, I gave him the letter, I put two dollars in there, 
and then I put you know two of my business cards in there, just whatever. Uh, it was really awkward because uh, the, the, when you walk in, there's two security personnel, and I have to speak with them through an intercom, and it's just very intimidating. It's very hard, and as I gave it to them, they started to look at it, and then I started to get scared. And then he called somebody and someone came out and I, we, we spoke and then I was explaining to them why I was doing this. And I gave him that letter and he, and he very delicately, and he held it very delicately. So I ho and he said that he would pass it to the, I think, assistant secretary to the deputy or, or, the, or the ambassador, the, the, the assistant secretary of the ambassador. So I think that's the person who sits in uh, the UN on Russia's behalf. So hopefully it will move up, maybe. Well, it's my attempt at it, and it's, it's something's better than nothing. So I'm not, you know, I was scared, of course, because it's such a complicated thing, what I wanted to do. So I did it, I'm feeling a little better, I'm still a little nervous. It's, I mean, in a way, what I just did is a bribe, so I could go to jail if they so went so crazy about it but then it would give more attention to it and you know like <laughs> somebody bribing the ambassador of, of, of Russia to the UN in order for them to vote yes on uh, UN's uh, resolution to intervene in Syria that'd be a little crazy uh, but it could happen okay I'm in my car sitting by the way so I, uh, I'll probably do another close-up oh. I'm back in Edgewater now. I feel much better. Like just before when I was, I was just really scared and panicking. Just I just wasn't sure how they would react to something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know the direction of of this anymore. I mean, the video that this went to. But you know, it's. Um, um, you know, I find some 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 sort of I guess power in this. So that's that's why so that's why I did this like this. It gave me some sort of power and gave me the strength to do that. So thank you. And I was just thinking, you know, like I don't know. I don't know. Just you know, don't 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 give up in life. You know, it's I mean, some things are some things are hard, but nothing's impossible and. Something is better than nothing, and, and it's, it's 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 a good idea to continuously be trying something and challenging yourself. And today was I don't even know what today's date is. I think it's a Thursday, February twenty third, two thousand twelve. It's a beautiful day, but 